السلام عليكم Mega Goal 2 Play ball. Football. Forms of football have been played for thousands of years by various civilizations. As far back as 2500 BCE, the Chinese played a form of the game and called it Tzu Chu. The natives of the Pacific Islands played the game using their hands and feet, and they used coconuts and animal bladders as balls. The Inuits of northern Canada played football on ice and used balls filled with caribou hair and grass. Other Native Americans played on fields that had enough space for 1,000 players to be playing at the same time, and matches usually lasted for more than one day. The games were so rough that the players often got broken bones. In Mexico and Central America, people invented the rubber ball and played in courts 40 to 50 feet, 12 to 15 meters long, surrounded by walls several feet high. In the middle of each wall, there was a stone with a hole in the middle or a wooden ring, and the idea was for players to hit the hard rubber ball through the hole or ring. But it was not until 1863, in England, that the first set of rules was put together to make football the game it is today. Football was spread throughout the world by British sailors and settlers, and all major innovations in the game, such as leagues, professionalism, and international matches originated in England. Basketball In 1891, Dr. James A. Naismith, a physical education teacher at a school in Springfield, Massachusetts in the United States, was asked to create a game that could be played indoors during the harsh winters. So Naismith put up two peach baskets on opposite walls of the gymnasium and got his class of 18 students to play a game of basketball. The team that dropped the ball into the basket more times won. At first, a football was used, but in 1894, it was decided that the ball should be 7 inches, 81 centimeters, around, and weigh 17.6 ounces, 500 grams. In spite of all the changes that have taken place since then in the game of basketball, the size of the ball has remained the same, but the weight has increased to 21 ounces, 600 grams. The baskets used in early games had the bottoms in them, and after each goal, someone had to climb a ladder in order to get the ball out and put it back into play. In 1906, open baskets were introduced, which allowed the ball to pass through, and as a result, the pace of the game became faster. In the beginning, no backboards were used either. Therefore, fans sitting behind the basket would push away the ball when the opponent was going to score. Also in the early days, each team was made up of nine players. 
It wasn't until 1897 that the five-player team became official. Volleyball Volleyball was officially included in the Olympic Games in 1964. It began as an indoor sport created by William G. Morgan, a physical education director, in 1895. The game borrowed characteristics from tennis and handball and was originally designed for older players. Volleyball is played on a court divided by a net. The game begins with a team player serving the ball, tossing it in the air and hitting it with his hand or arm over the net and into the other team's court. The receiving team must prevent the ball from falling on the ground. Each team is allowed to touch the ball three times before hitting it back over the net. Individual players may only touch the ball once. Each turn after serving is called a rally. Each team tries to ground the ball on the opponent's court and win the rally. If a team commits a fault, it loses. Common faults include a double hit by the same player, grounding the ball outside the opponent's court, missing the net or touching it during the game, a net foul, and a foot foul, when the foot of the player who is serving crosses over the boundary line or the court. Players have to observe a considerable number of rules and develop techniques such as spiking and blocking that require mastery of the vertical jump so players can hit the ball when it's above the top of the net. If I were a millionaire, If I had a million dollars, I would be a millionaire. I would spend a lot on diamonds that would sparkle everywhere. I would buy my friends all presents. I would treat them to a trip. I would buy myself a mansion. I would drive a brand new car. Would you sail with me if I sailed the seven seas? Would you come with me if I took a trip to Mars? And would you stand by me if I lost all that I had? Would you still be my friend through good and bad? Cause I wouldn't have a house. There would be no Cadillacs. There would be no trips to Mars. There'd be pizza and chalk cookies. If I lost all that I had, would you still be my good friend? And for better and for worse, would you like a wish to send? إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة دمتم بود ومحبة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته